Hello everybody, I am Chief Nick Mascala. And I'm Petty Officer Kayla Francillo. And today we're going to be going over the risk management with respect to Guard 2.0. Kayla and myself are both instructors at the Command Center Watch Center course at Training Center Yorktown. And we've created a status board for our course, which you see behind us. And today we're going to talk about how we use our status board and why it's centered around the use of risk management, specifically with Guard 2.0. So once you have relieved the watch, you're going to set up your status board. So at Command Center Watch Standard Course, we have our status board that encompasses our weather. Now this is going to be for your entire AOR. Your cutters, what their status is, their location, and their mission. Our station assets with regards to their readiness. Auxiliarist, our ant team, and our air stations. So if they have anything planned for the day, that we're going to put that there. Also our marine events. So we want to encompass the who, what, where, and when. So we have that visibility when we're going through. GAR 2.0 risk management covers deliberate risk management and real-time risk management. On our status board, you can see them separated on levels. So you have our initial risk management, which is our deliberate, followed up by our real-time, which we're going to just call case-specific. When you get a call or you get a case and you have to build an action plan around something, that's what we're going to consider our real-time. When we assume the watch and we conduct our watch brief after we do our relief, that's when we conduct our deliberate. This is usually conducted at a time in the watch when we have little going on and we have, a time to, we have some time to thoroughly think about each element of it when we're still not conducting any mission. There may be a time on your watch floor when you come in to a situation immediately, you need to deal with that. And when we get the opportunity, we'll come back and discuss the deliberate risk management. In GAR 2.0, we use several job aids. The first one we use is the risk assessment job aid, which covers all the elements of peace planning, event, asset, communication, supervision, and environment. And on the other side is where you determine your overall risk versus gain. Another tool that we have that we're not including in today's training is going to be the risk assessment matrix, which you have seen on our board under the column RAC for RAC. However, for today's training, we're going to omit that and then we'll make a different video on how to use the risk assessment matrix for further risk analysis. Another job aid that we have is the STAR model. This is a risk mitigation job aid. The STAR model includes ways to mitigate risk that you've identified. You can spread the risk out between different resources or different assets. You can transfer the risk to a different entity if they can conduct the mission more safely. You can avoid the risk if there's a way to do it later or you can postpone it for safety reasons. You can accept the risk when the benefits clearly outweigh the cost but only as much as necessary to complete the mission you can reduce the risk. You can alleviate stress through increasing situational awareness and providing rest. Do you need to send as many people out as you're sending and can you reduce the amount of assets or their on-scene time to better manage that risk? At Command Center Watch Standard Course, we start with environment. That way we can work backwards through the process and identify hazards to be able to have a full picture for our planning. Now, an example of a hazard that we identified, we had a gale warning. So once we have identified that hazard, we're gonna come over and we're gonna determine the level of risk. Now that's gonna be low, medium, or high. We have identified this as a medium risk, and now we're gonna move into our mitigation piece. That is gonna be utilizing our STAR model. So that is our spread out, transfer, avoid, accept, or reduce. So any way that we can mitigate this hazard, we're gonna circle it over here and we're gonna write exactly how we're gonna mitigate. So for this example, we reduce the number of crews and our on-scene time. So now that you have identified your hazards, you've assigned a risk to each one of those individual hazards, and you've gone through your mitigation process, now we're gonna move into our risk versus gain. Now that's gonna be your overall risk for the entirety of the process. And you can do that by utilizing the risk assessment job aid. So we assign the level of risks, which here we have decided as low and your level of gain. And again, using that job is really gonna help you identify exactly um, how to determine what level you're at. Once you have gone through that, you accept the mission, yes or no, and de determine that from there. After we completed the deliberate risk management, we have our second part of this, which is our real-time risk management. At the Command Center Watch Center course, we put a lot of emphasis on real-time risk management because we, this is a case specific process. When we get a call or we need to act or create an action plan to do something, we have to manage the risk associated with whatever our call is. The process looks pretty similar. 
We have the piece model, our individual categories over here. We use our star model. Everything looks the same as up top. One of the big differences on this side is we're including our assets. So we're calling our stations, we're calling our cutters, our OGAs, our PRs, and we're having the discussion with them on what their perceived risk is and how we connect their risk to us. And we have that communication line open so we can further mitigate any risk that they may see that we don't or that we may see that they don't. So once you have completed your real-time case-specific risk management and you have launched your assets, received their concerns, and we're moved into our operations phase, we're gonna come back up here to our deliberate. We're really gonna see how the case affects our overall picture. If there are no changes, we don't have to make any changes, but if there is, we can adjust those there. And that's how we complete our GAR 2.0 training. Thank you guys for watching today, and we'll see you next time.